So I was going to spend some time talking about the bankruptcy of FTX, which is really, really important. If you guys don't know about that, I suggest you guys do some research. Understand that FTX is one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the world, and they just filed bankruptcy. And the reason they filed bankruptcy is very basic, very simple. Because what they tried to do was use their crypto as a bank, their FTT token as a bank. And what they were doing is, is they were issuing IOUs when people bought crypto, aka Bitcoin and Ethereum. So instead of actually going and buying or selling that token, crypto or Ethereum, they discovered that what they were doing is, is they were basically writing an IOU and trading money based upon whatever that rate was, exchange rate for US dollar. And so what happened was is, is FTX ended up with billions of dollars, with a B, billions of dollars worth of what I'll call, call ghost securities in Bitcoin and Ethereum. They loaned their customers money, okay? And it wasn't secured by actual cryptocurrency. So then what happened is, is that money went out to whoever they loaned it to. And when all of their users, the people who were storing their crypto on FTX, wanted to sell because they found out that this was happening, the price of their token crashed and they're forced to file bankruptcy. The guy who runs FTX, let's see, Sam Bateman Freed, he should be in prison, period. There should be an SEC investigation that occurs that very specifically there are laws that don't that prevent people from selling, buying and selling false securities in this way. It's fraud is what it is. And now he's filing bankruptcy. But if you go and you look at Sam Bankman Freed's contributions to political representatives, I can almost guarantee you that this dude will not be held accountable. He will be bailed out. His bankruptcy will be good. And all of the people who had their money invested with FTX's token, TT, they're the ones who are going to get fucked 100%. This is the same thing that happened with Obama when he bailed out all the banks. They did the same exact thing. Their bubble popped. They ran out of money. Everybody pulled out. And they found themselves in this position where it wasn't secured. Okay. This guy should be in fucking prison, period.